Hi everyone out there in WeHoo world. I'm excited today to show you how to assemble the new 2015 iGo. Let's check out the tools we're going to want to have on hand when we get started. A Phillips head screwdriver, a crescent wrench or a pedal wrench, and an Allen key with a number four on it. So first we're going to install the reflector. This is easiest to do before you put the paneer on. Take your reflector, your small screw, and your Phillips screwdriver. You're simply going to insert the screw through the back, tightening it on. We're going to secure the paneer to the frame. One on the side. one on the top, and repeat the same for the other side. Next we're going to install the pedals. Please note that there is a right and a left pedal. You'll notice an R and an L on the uh, end of each pedal. Take your wrench. If you have a pedal wrench, that's great. If not, just a wrench of the appropriate size will do. And um, you're going to put on your pedal. So we're going to first hand thread the pedal on gently. Then we're going to take our wrench. If you have a pedal wrench, that's great. If not, just a wrench of the appropriate size and tighten that down with the wrench. And we're just going to repeat the process on the other side. Let's install our WeHoo safety flag. The flag comes in two pieces. Simply insert the white end into the orange receptacle. You'll notice there's the flag receptacle on the unit itself. Simply insert that in. Now we're going to install your fender and attach the push bar to the frame. You're going to need your fender, your screw, and once again your Phillips screwdriver. Notice how this kind of forms a triangle or has a little bit of a point on it. We want this point towards the bottom. We're going to use the middle hole. There's three holes. We're going to use the middle hole to screw this in. Then we're going to just tighten it in with the screwdriver. Next, we're going to attach the push bar to the frame by using our pin. I have to line it up a little bit and then simply snap it home on the other side. You're going to line up your holes, insert your pin in, and snap it in on the other side. Next we're going to assemble your iGo seat. The parts you're going to need for the seat assembly is your seat base, your seat fabric, your seat back, and your seat arms. So the first step is we're going to take our seat, seat fabric and our seat back. You'll notice some small tabs on the base of the seat, which you're going to insert the seat back through. And you're going to insert the bar into the cradle. Next step that I like to do is take the seat base and install the arms. This is where we're going to need our number four Allen key and the six seat bolts. best practice for assembling the seat is to gently hand thread the screws in first and then we use the star pattern to drive them home once they've been gently hand threaded in. Now we're going to take our seat back with fabric. And you'll notice there's pouches in the arms. I'm going to slide the pouch through the top arm rail on either side.
we're going to insert the last screws in the back. So repeat the same for the other arm on the other side. Now we're going to secure the Velcro. Take the front patch, loop it around the bar, and I like to run my hand across to get a nice firm attachment, and take the bottom flap and do the same. Now we're going to take the number four Allen key and tighten the screws in what we call the star pattern. So we'll tighten this. Go here. Go here. Etc. Until you're done. So next we're going to install the seat to the frame. The parts you're going to need for this are your seat bushing, both sides, and your carriage bolt. You'll notice there is a shorter side and a longer side. The shorter side is on the bottom with the carriage bolt hole. So we're going to wrap this around the frame. You take your seat, gently slide it over the plastic, and you're going to take your carriage bolt. you notice there's a squared off section on the carriage bolt. And this is going to go into the square section on the side. You'll notice one side is round and one side is square. Square goes into square. You're going to take your carriage bolt, nut, and just simply tighten it with a few twists on the back. This is also how your seat adjusts up and down the frame of the trailer. You'll loosen this, and then you can slide the, um, the bushing in the seat to the desired position for your child. While we're on the seat, I also want to point out that the seat belt threads through these loops for a smaller or shorter child. And as your child grows, you can leave the strap outside of the loop. Now we're going to quickly go over one of the features of the seat. You'll notice that we have these two bands here. This is designed for as your child grows, you can pull this through just to give them more clearance over their shoulders. Reminding you, we tighten the And then the chest strap, and you can adjust these to make sure that they fit nice and snug. Now we're going to install the hitch. You'll notice your iGo comes with six plastic bushings to accommodate the six most common seat post sizes. You have your hitch and you have your pin. So what you'll notice is your seat post has a minimum insertion line. And you'll typically see the number you're looking for etched right around that minimum insertion line. This seat post is a 30.9, and you'll see at the bottom or foot of the bushing is one that says 30.9. So I'm simply going to take that, my hitch, and then insert the seat post down. Well, you'll notice there is a foot or a flange. We always want that on the bottom for safety reasons. That flange has to be on the bottom. What you're looking for is a nice snug fit. Now, when you go to attach this to your bike, you're going to notice on the initial period, the joint is going to be tight in between the neck and the receiver. This is by design. We want this connection to be as tight as possible to ensure a beautiful, stable ride. We're going to insert a quick release pin through. And again, you might have to line it up and jiggle it a little bit to get it through, and then snap it home. You can say, take your seat post then, insert it through, tighten your seat post as your bike manufacturer recommends, and you're good to go. 
So we're going to go over loading your child um, in the trailer and giving you my best practice. What I like to do is straddle the push bar and stabilize it between your legs. You want to adjust the pedal strap for your child's shoe and foot. And you're going to gently secure the elastic behind the heel. Repeat the same for the other pedal. I've taught my children to secure their own seat belt. It makes it easier, but um, you can definitely just lean forward. And again, if you have a smaller child or a shorter child, as they're growing into the Wii U, this is designed to grow with them. So we'll glide these through here. So here are lower clips and our chest clip. And again, you can adjust this up and down for your child. And we're going to hold the push bar and our saddle with our one hand while we pivot around, grabbing our handlebars, getting ready to ride. At WeHu, we say life's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Be curious, explore, and ride more. Adventures begin with WeHu.